yummy. <clears throat> All right, folks. We back in the lab. We back in the studio. This is the Captain's Law Podcast. I'm your host, Rob. This is home of your sports and trending topics. I switched it up. I switched it up for good reason. The current events and the community news, that shit sound a little too long. So I figured trending topics would just sum it all up. All right. I know I wasn't here last week, man. I ain't had nothing for y'all. So I'm like, if I ain't had nothing for you, then I ain't putting shit out. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Um, But what we covering tonight, we're going to be doing some sports. We're going to be talking NBA trades, winners and losers. We're going to be talking ESPN, mass layoffs. Um, on On the trending topic side, of course, happy 4th of July. And we're also going to be talking about July 1st, marijuana legal in the state of Maryland. Let's get into it. All right. I just rang the bell on the live for y'all who didn't know what I just did there. If you was in there, you would know. Um, so listen, uh, shout out to uh, Adrian w- Wojnarowski. I'm sorry if I jacked that up. He's been dropping the Woj bomb all weekend. So if you don't know what the Woj bomb means... That means that this is breaking news that either somebody didn't got cut, somebody that got fired, somebody that didn't got a, a goddamn contract extension, max contract, or somebody been traded. So I'm just gonna go down the list. Just I'm just gonna mention some notables. It's a lot, but just bear with me. Just some notable uh trades or contract extensions. So James Harden, he uh opts in was 35.6 million um trade talks. He's most likely looking for another team. I don't want to hear shit else about James Harden. Don't even mention him in the conversations with with the elite basketball players. All this little team swapping shit. You know what I'm saying? Him and amongst others. I don't want to hear nothing else. Um, So kiss my ass, James Harden. Uh, Harrison Barnes, three years, 54 mil to stay with the Kings. I know a lot of people thinking like, damn, Harrison Barnes job old. Nah. He is a key player on that Sacramento Sacramento Kings team. So he deserved all that money. You actually could have gave him about 20 more mil. Uh, Kyle Kuzma. Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma is staying with the house, staying with the Wizards for years. 102 mil. I'm fucking with it. Um, it's going to be a Kyle Kuzma pool party um i've been saying it since last year i felt like they was they were gonna make kyle kuzma the face of the team now is he gonna have to battle for, from that from jordan pool but they don't play the same position they both be jacking but if they can get that shit together um i think we're gonna be cool i mean honestly none of this matters if the coaching if the coaching doesn't change because you know we're really bad at defense we give up a lot of points on the three we got a worse defense in the league so none of this means anything if we're, if we're not putting people in place to make our players play fucking defense. But I'm glad that he stayed. I wanted him to stay, even though, I mean, he's considered a veteran. He don't even really seem that old to me, but he has been playing for a little minute. Um, but congratulations to Kyle Kuzma. He's staying at the house. I love it. Uh, next, Bruce Bowen, two years, 45 mil to the Pacers. I guess Denver didn't have enough money to keep him, even though he was one of the key players that got them the chip. But... You know, once once you win the ring, I mean, at that point, you you've you've already accomplished the ultimate goal in basketball, so you might as well get paid. Um, next, Chris Middleton, three years, one hundred and two million to stay with the Bucks. I mean, I guess. I mean, I, I don't see nobody else on the team besides him and Giannis. Um, but you know, if you got to get paid, you got to get paid. Who else we got? Uh, Cam Johnson, four years, one hundred and eight mil to stay with the Nets. Slick move, Nets, I like it. That's a good player there. Y'all need to hold on to him. Um, Fred Van Vliet, three years, 130 mil to the Rockets. Ooh, baby. They cashed that man out. But my question is, where the fuck happened to John Wall? Don't John Wall still play with Houston? I know they sent him back. So I'm assuming that John Wall about to either get released or he about to get traded. Because... You essentially you pay. I think you're paying John Wall like forty seven, almost fifty mil this year. So if you got Fred, then you might as well go ahead and get rid of him. Um, we'll see how that goes. But Houston picked up a lot of players. Derrick Rose, two year deal to Memphis. I like it. I like that. Maybe, maybe he can calm fucking John Morant ass down. But uh, you you still got a pretty decent point guard, a veteran who still got some gas in the tank coming off the bench. Um, I like it. Who else? Victor Oladipo, nine mil. 
Uh, they're just going to absorb his old his old contract. He's gone to OKC. I like that, too. I think that, you know, he, he can be in a position to, to come in behind, uh, uh, I forgot old boy, the, the, the star player. Fuck. Um, Sha, 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 correct me if I'm wrong. Um, he got a long ass last name. Um, coming up behind him, man, I think that's good. Uh, Victor Oladipo, man, I, I just, I really hope that he could just get back to who he was when he was with the Pacers because, you know, he had injury behind injury behind injury. I know that I'm still recovering from a knee surgery. I can only imagine having that shit multiple times. So, uh, best of luck to you. Desmond Bain, five years, 207 million dollars to stay with memphis good idea memphis good idea he's a dog and you need to go ahead and pay him uh patrick beverly one year deal to philly somebody gonna pick him up shit he's still he's i guess he still got something to offer uh ob Toppin going from new york to the pacers for two future first round second i mean i'm sorry two future second round picks cool Lamelo ball $260 million rookie super max deal from the Charlotte Hornets. Y'all already knew he was getting paid. I guess 260 is the new number. You know what I mean? It was 250 with Brad Bill, and now it's 260. So 260 mil. Congratulations, man. You regardless of whatever y'all want to say about it, the, the the shifty, tricky basketball, he good. Um Dylan Brooks. I remember y'all said Dylan Brooks was gonna be playing in China and all this other shit or, or whatever other country. Well, his ass got four years, 80 mil to the Rockets. I mean, regardless of how we feel about him and shit talk, he ain't no scrub. You know what I'm saying? He may not be who y'all think he is, but look, there's no way he wasn't going to get paid. He, he's still better than a lot of these motherfuckers in the league. Uh, Russell Westbrook, two years, was it eight mil to stay with the Clippers? So I seen some shit online. They was trying to compare uh, Russell Westbrook to Dylan Brooks saying, well, why is Dylan Brooks getting 80 mil and Russ is only getting uh uh eight mil? And uh put some respect on his name. Let's give you out a news flash. Uh Russell Westbrook is washed. Can we agree to disagree that he's washed? I, I know somebody's gonna say no, he's not. He looked he looked washed to me. Uh he was washed when he came to the Wizards. He was stat patting. He was washed when he went to the Lakers. He's washed. So just be happy that he's still playing. I mean, at this point, he about to be coming off the damn bench if he ain't coming off the bench already. Um, I, I don't know. Is, is he coming off the bench with the Clippers? Let me know. Um, moving on. Listen to this. Miles Bridges, $7.9 million contract. He's about to be eligible to come back to play. I, I didn't think he was ever going to make it back in the league, but I guess everybody gets a second or third chance. So, um no no uh, word on contract extensions, but he is eligible to play this upcoming season. Um, who else? Oh, Anthony Edwards, five years, 260 million Minnesota Timberwolves. 260, boy, that shit sounds crazy. Um, the boy's a dog. You got to pay him. He was number one draft pick too, right? Yeah. You got to go ahead and pay him. And um, last but not least... Dame Dollar, Damon Lillard requests a trade from the uh, Trailblazers, Portland Trailblazers. Like, look, go ahead and trade me. And he is he he got his eyes locked in on Miami. He don't want to go nowhere else but Miami. But my thing is, what is Miami going to give up to get him? They're going to have to give up the house. It's like, you know, I, when you got a player like him, Dame, you know, he he's all time scorer. He's all he done broke almost every record for for the Trailblazers, but. With all of those accolades, what are you about to give up to get him? You ain't just gonna you ain't gonna give up your bench. You're gonna give up some of them starters. Who are you gonna give up to get them though? You know, because my thing is if you gotta give up two or three players, you know what I'm saying, and some draft picks, it's like, is it really worth doing it? You know what I mean? To to have him on the team, him, uh, Jimmy Butler, Tyler Hero, Bam out of bio, and um, I forgot what the fourth person, fifth person is. Had to have all them on there, but then when they come out the game, you ain't got nobody. Or you you got some people that's just going to do their best to try to do something while you can catch a breather. That ain't going to be sustainable. So let me know, man. Um, let me know. Winners, so so my thing is, I'm going to say winners. 
winners of this draft is I'm going obviously the Rockets. The Rockets are going to be looking crazy this year. The Rockets, the Pacers. I'm going to say the Wizards just because they my Wizards. They they got a win out of this, even though Bill and you know slid off on us. And the Lakers. I didn't mention the Lakers, but they did sign Austin Reeves and they did sign Rui. Um, they gave Rui fifty mil. I'm like, okay. I think it's two years, 50 mil. So just let just see what he can do. Let him get a full season because you got to think they picked him up right, right before the playoff push. So let's see what he can do in a full season. Regardless, he played better than he did with the fucking Wizards. But that just shows that we don't know what the fuck we're doing. We don't know how to develop players. Um, but shout out to them, man. Shout out to everybody. There's going to be more Woj bombs. It was kind of hard to keep up with. It was probably about 15 other players that I didn't mention because it's just that many. I don't want to bore you all with too many stats. But let's move on to ESPN layoffs. Wow. So this shit came out of nowhere. Let me get some water for this. So ESPN laid off 20 plus either broadcasters, announcers, analysts, or reporters over the weekend. Um, Some notable names, man. Jeff Van Gundy. Uh, he was He was one of the announcers with Mark Jackson for years. I'm surprised he even lasted as long as he did. I respect him because he was very critical of the game, especially the flopping, the crappy refereeing, and just overall soft NBA play as a whole. He was very critical of that. He was vocal. He did not bite his tongue about nobody. He didn't care how good you were. Like, he spoke it. Um, Got rid of him. They got rid of Jalen Rose. Damn. I feel like Jalen Rose might be one of the big the biggest names I'd heard. Um, they talking about uh Perk. Kendrick Perkins might be replacing him on his role on ESPN. So ugh, damn. Uh Max Kellerman, gone. Keyshawn Johnson, gone. Matt Hasselback, gone. Steve Young, gone. So it's just so I'm just I looked it up. I was like, why are they doing this? And it's just a simple reason. Uh budget cuts. Um, if they wanted to be able to meet their fiscal year goals this year, some people had to get cut. So y'all do know, if y'all didn't know that Disney owns majority of ESPN, y'all know that, right? So ESPN owns majority of ESPN. Don't, don't y'all remember that Disney just laid off like 7,000 employees. So yeah, ain't nobody saying, I was looking at a uh, TikTok. I don't know. I don't know the name of the, of the group is a sports show, but they were bar stool. And they called them and they told them they was fired. And he, it was a video. I don't know if they was live or something, but the guy's literally like holding his phone. They're like, yeah, so we're, they're going to go ahead and cancel the show. The guy's just looking like, looking at the phone like, is this a joke? Is this real? Like, just imagine getting let go while you at work, while you recording. Bro, one thing about this business, man, or their business is it don't matter how good you are. It don't matter how likable you are. It don't matter how much money you bring them. If you if they get rid of you in a second, you you don't have no job security. You know the best thing for them for these folks to, specifically to do that, especially like your Jalen Roses, your Max Kellermans, your Keyshawns, and all of them. Like at this point, y'all need to be starting y'all own stuff. You know what I'm saying? You 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 need to start your own shit. I ain't saying start your own podcast or something like that, but start your own show, man. I like I know some people be thinking like. You know, maybe some of these these ex players may think that you know, uh, uh, YouTube is beneath them. But look, don't be too proud. Shit, uh, you you go in here, you get a million views or million subscribers on YouTube, and that next thing you know, you getting you know, a hundred to 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 a million or you know, two million of uh, views per per video, and that shit add up. Look 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 at these video game streamers. I ask them how much money they make. Ask them how much money they make from streaming and posting shit on YouTube. So it ain't over for y'all. It just it's just how how are y'all gonna pivot? You know what I mean? Or some of them is old. Maybe they could just chill. But you know it, it's hard to kind of like when you in broadcast media. I mean, I consider this broadcast media, whether it's it's nationally syndicated or not. Once you get into this, man, it's hard to to let it go unless you go out here and have some crazy allegations. It's hard to say, you know what, I don't want to do this shit no more because you love being in front of the camera. You love to talk. You love to give your analysis. You love to give your opinion. And, you know, when you get that fan camaraderie like, oh, man, Rob is great. Rob is great. And you just get fired? Shit. I have I had some shit set up the week after. But, um, 
that that's all I got for ESPN. And best of luck to them people. And they said there will be more people getting laid off. So I don't know. It's, it seemed like the only person that might be safe is Stephen A. But he's your highest paid sports analyst in the game right now. So you'd be a fool to get rid of him. But let's move on. Let's move on to the trending topics. First and foremost, I know it's the day before, but we're going to say it today. Happy 4th of July. <laughs> Clap. Pump it up. Pump it up. Pump it up. Happy 4th of July to all of y'all, all my shipmates, man. Um, 4th of July, I mean, it, it ain't what it used to be as, as I was as a child, but it, it still is a day off. It's still a time to, you know, chill, relax with your, with your family, you know what I'm saying? Get the grill rolling cool out. It's a day off to relax. End of the day, you can sleep in tomorrow. You know what I mean? So, but what's what's going on? What we doing? <clears throat> y'all still be uh going to the fireworks and shit? What y'all think, chat? Chat, y'all still be be looking for the fireworks and all that? Y'all buying fireworks? <clears throat> Popping them in y'all back, y'all? Or y'all going to DC? Let me know. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. When I was a child, I used to really want to be like, wherever the fireworks was at, I wanted to be there. You know, whether I was downtown D.C. on the mall, whether I was out, out the south side of somebody's hood and they was popping them shits on the street, whether I was in Laurel. I don't know if Laurel still do it. Laurel, when, before the town center was there, they used to um, they used to have, you know, fireworks. They popped them shits right there in the little lake. The fire department would do it. And that shit would go off about 30 minutes. Um, I don't know if they still do that. Let me know. Do they still do that? Or... Um, one year during COVID, we went to, uh, we went to the Bowie Bay Sox stadium and they put on a pretty good fireworks show right there in the middle of the, uh, baseball diamond. Chat says these kids don't like fireworks anymore. Nah, they sure don't. I, I remember buying the fireworks. I mean, bought the whole kit. You know, you get the kit. It got all that shit in there. You got the goddamn, you got the little rockets and then you got the little sparkler shits. And they ain't want to. They ain't want to fool with none of it. I was like, you know how much I paid for this, and then you know you get the deal. So I think I got like two, four hundred. So I got enough fireworks for probably the whole damn neighborhood, and they ain't even want to hold a sparkler. So I said I would never buy fireworks again. Chad says they did fireworks on Saturday at the lake. Oh, they do still do it at the lake. Oh, okay, that's classic. Then hey, they've been doing them fireworks at the lake in Laurel for a long time, like since I was a youngin. They ain't been doing it. Um, but damn, they did a job early, though. They couldn't wait to, well, I guess if you ain't do it this weekend, then it would have been late as hell. So, no, I digress. Um, so, what's, all right, so what, this is law. So, every, we all grilling tomorrow, right? Fellas, we all, we all find the grill up for 4th of July. That's what we doing? I think that's law. All right. So, look, we can keep it simple. We can do the glizzies. We can do the burgers. And we can do some chicken. And if you're really balling out here, you can throw the little slab of ribs on there. And if you're really, really balling, you can go ahead and get them, them, them crabs. Personally, I ain't going to get no crabs. Y'all, y'all really like them crabs like that? Too much, man. Too much. Too much of this. Too much of this to be getting this. Like, give me some crab legs. I need some shit already cooked. All I do is crack the bitch open, pull everything out, and that's it. Pool. I did hear the pool. We probably going to do the pool tomorrow. I, I guess that's, that, is, that is tradition to do the pool. On 4th of July. Honestly, I don't know what tradition is 4th of July because I've been working 4th of July for the past 12 years. So I don't even know like what it what it feels like. You know, I mean, I'm still adjusting to having all these holidays off. Um, but definitely look, man, this be I would the reason why I really don't go out like that is because shit just be crazy now. Um, it'd be a lot of people fried on the road. You know what I'm saying? It'd be people shooting fucking Roman candles out their cars and shit and all that. It's gonna be Roman candle fights on U Street somewhere. Um, just be careful, man. I know that back in the day when I, when I used to drink, when I used to get real slushy out here, it would be me and the rest of the world. We all be drunk flying up the road. And next thing you know, you hear about, you know what I mean? Somebody shot or somebody then fucking cr- crashed up in the goddamn bush or something like that. So y'all just be careful, man. What are y'all doing? But definitely, man, if, if y'all gonna might have some glizzies, man, I might have to pull up on y'all. They gotta be them ballparks though. Pause. Uh, and lastly, lastly, as of July 1st, marijuana is legal in Maryland. I'm cranking. I've been cranking Bone Thugs and Harmony. I've been cranking. Goddamn. I've been cranking all the weed smoke music all weekend. Do you understand? It's a great day in Maryland. 
even though I mean you ain't really need no no official law. People be already been on that type of time anyway. But yeah, as of July first, weed is legal in Maryland. What's the rules? Number one, y'all be twenty one. All right, the young niggas, man, y'all still gotta wait your turn. Well, you can get it how you've been getting it, the old school way. But if you want to go into a dispensary, you show them your ID, tell them you're 21, you can buy or you, you can walk out with up to an ounce and a half of weed. First of all, that's a lot. So I would say be mindful. I wouldn't walk out with no dispensary, you know, with that much. I had to put that shit in the book bag or something. You can get up a, to an ounce and a half of flour and you can have it on your person and you good. Um, the only stipulation is, man, um, they talking about, yep, chat says Devin to do. You absolutely undefeated. Um, the only drawback is police saying that they gonna be pulling people over, try to give them DUIs. I'm just trying to figure out how does that work? I mean, is that if you smell like weed? Or is that if your eyes is red? Like, how can you determine outside of the smell, how can you determine if somebody been smoking or not or it has ingested marijuana how can you do that you will give them a piss test on the side of the road that shit be in your system for 30 days so honestly i i think it's i think it's a scare tactic i don't i just don't see how that shit holds up i mean because my thing is if i get pulled over if i get pulled let's say i, I got a, i got so let's just say hypothetically i got an ounce of weed in my car i get pulled over for running a red light or something and they find it I'm good. I just, I just want to just verify that I'm no, you can weigh it. I'm good. It's an ounce and a half. Y'all said I was cool. You know what I'm saying? But then if they look at me and my eyes is red, maybe my eyes is red because I just took a nap. They're going to try to give me a DUI? Look, I'm just trying, I'm just trying to run some scenarios out there just in case. I ain't speaking for me. I'm just speaking for somebody who might look like me. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm really curious to, to how they're going to, how they're going to pull that shit off. But my question is, man, my question for the uh for the chat, my question for the listeners and, and the viewers. Um, have any of y'all considered switching? For my people who drink, have y'all considered switching to weed since it's legal? I'll give you I'll give you a couple of seconds to respond. If so, why? Or why not? Or you gonna do both? I ain't gonna lie to you. I just, I just couldn't imagine people who were drinking and smoking at the same time. Oh my god, that shit sound like overkill. Like you really need both. Like you be like this. Nah. Um. Another thing, man, you got to be mindful of your jobs. Chat says, "Nope, I love a margarita." <laughs> Understood. Chat says that it's legal in the state, not in the feds. No, it's 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 it is not. The federal government was well. I mean, if if you if your PD, if your job description, if your your SF fifty says that you know drug test, no, then they they can't drug test you legally. Um, that's it. Unless they 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 can't change that shit behind your back too. If they want to try to change it for suspicions, they got to go over that shit with you so you can get yourself together. I'm just saying for somebody who might look like me. You know what I'm saying? Um, Another thing, man, like, are, are they going to start having, like, commercials and shit? Like, they're going to start having, like, com- like doing a football game and they be showing the Budweiser commercials and shit. Are they going to start having, um, are they going to start having weed commercials? In, in other states. Is anybody like anybody from Colorado or something? Do do they be having like weed commercials and shit when they be like how do they promote weed besides billboards and the radio? I hear it on the radio a lot, but like, are they really gonna be like pushing pushing that shit? I'm curious. Um, I really am. Uh, I'm curious to see how it happens. But regardless of the fact, be safe. I just seen these situations where people be out here high driving. You wonder why that motherfucker in the far left lane doing thirty miles an hour. Thinking he doing three thousand, this shit be this shit how you mo- thinking you moving a little fast. So y'all be mindful, man. With everything y'all do, man, recreational tomorrow. If y'all just chilling, even just laying in the bed, be safe. You might be in the bed too long, fuck around, and don't get up. You know what I'm saying? Just be safe, man. 
And always, I appreciate y'all. Appreciate my shipmates, man. Fucking with me. Make sure y'all share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. The Patreon is available. I'm getting ready to start uploading some new content for my, you know, my my supporter tier is $2.99 a month. All the link is in the bio. I'm actually in the process of, uh, process of creating my next tier, which is going to be $4.99 a month, where I'm going to have a lot of behind the scenes stuff, um, equipment checks, uh, tutorials. And just personal shit that I don't talk about outside of the podcast that you folks may want to know. So if you want to get get in on get in on the get in, link is in the description, man. Check it out. And I'm done. Captain out.